I am smiling ear to ear right now. This is fantastic. Take a look at this. Every neighbor stopped by to check it out. We have some quiet downtime, so we can finally talk here. Uh, this is amazing. This is my dream car. This is my teenage dream car. Um, of course, there's others, but the Super was always it. I wanted the Super as my first car. I actually had a silver Celica as my first car. So to get a, this 1995 Toyota Supra Turbo Mark IV with only 29,000 miles, and I'll repeat that, 29,000 miles. Um, which is just unheard of. And a six-speed manual transmission in Alpine silver with the rear black interior. Because everything in the 90s had beige interior for some reason. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. And I still can't believe this is real. Uh, I'm kind of in awe and in shock. And I'm just excited. So my plan for this car is to keep it as pristine as it is right now. I kind of feel it's my duty that this car has been kept this well so long. It's actually a one owner, all original car. So it would be a terrible idea to go modify it and turn it into a fast and furious little street rod. And so I'm going to keep it pristine and I'm going to do different things. You're going to see on the channel here where I will upkeep it. I will buff certain things out, find little imperfections, find different uh, areas that got a little patina. For example, I already noticed Project One, the, the brake calipers here, they're getting a little worn out looking. I got some new original old stock Toyota Supra calipers to be popping on and uh, yeah I'm just gonna keep this thing as is concourse level and uh, I can't wait to enjoy it it is an absolute dream car I uh, I can't believe I got it I've always, I've played it in video games I've rode in pa I've rode passenger in one I've never actually had one and uh, now I have one and uh, yeah, I mean, the whole cockpit feel is classic cockpit feel. Your mid-90s Camry steering wheel. I mean, that's hilarious. But it is, it's so clean and it's so perfect. And it feels just as though when you bought it back when it was new in the mid-90s. So there's so much to come with this car. The next morning. All right, so I still absolutely love this car. I am still smiling ear to ear, as you can tell. 
One thing though, it needs to start when I turn it on. Um, for some reason, the battery keeps dying. I don't know if it's just a bad battery or if something's draining it. So I'm taking it into a specialist. They're gonna check things out. I'm not one with electronics and electricity. So I'm gonna have somebody else run diagnostics on it, check things out for me, make sure we figure out what is possibly the gremlin that's draining the battery, get it all sorted out. It'll be perfectly good as new, not a problem. But while it's there, I have a couple cool things. So as you know, I'm keeping everything original with this Supra and I found some old stock original items. Here we have the original rotors and pads for front and back. And then check this out. We have in this box something pretty neat. Now I've already gone in, but take a look at this. So check this out. Here is new old stock original parts. Look at this. This is beautiful. What's super cool is we get to peel this off. OEM from the mid 90s. Can't beat that. So thanks Elmhurst Toyota. This is going to come <laughs> oh, uh, in very handy in making these be nice and clean. One week later. All right, so here we are. We're at Dynamic Detailing. My buddy Dan's gonna take care of the Supra and get it all checked out. Paint correction, ceramic coating, you name it. They do it all here. And they're gonna take a great care of this car. So when we get it back, it's gonna look like a brand new 25 year old car. So let's get in there and check the place out. The quick and dirty story of how this all began. Cause I mean, you and I, we've known each other for about like five years now. Mm -hmm. And that was when it was in the garage of your mom's house. And now you've gone to this place where you have employees, got a full facility shop. Yeah. I would love to kind of hear just the story of what got you into it and, okay. and kind of why you're the best in the area. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, pretty much uh, I started detailing about 10 years ago. Yeah. So I learned from a friend at the street and taught me how to detail. And I was like, okay, cool. I think I can make some extra money doing this. Yeah. And uh, so I was kind of off running. But at that time, we were, I mean, in 2010, it was, it was our train there. They're bringing and, all your uh, product over. What's that? They're bringing all your new product well, over. I know, yeah. right? So <laughs> we didn't have coatings. PPF was still like not really popular because it was super thick. Yep. Um, and so I didn't really think I could start a business out of it. Um, and then fast forward to kind of like 2015, I found ceramic coatings and I was like, we either have something that's really gimmicky here or we really have something this could be a gold rush. In the yeah. Industry. We haven't really changed how we protect cars in decades. We've been yeah. using wax forever and ever. So I was like, okay. So I quit my job and I took a chance. I had a business partner at the time and I bought him out. Um, uh, and uh, I just hit the ground running. That would be a blast. Oh, I'm proud of you. That's Thank fantastic. You, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, totally. And then I've got one more question for you which is around ceramic coating. Now, yeah. so there's all sorts of ceramic coating products now on the market. And there's some that you can do it yourself. There's some that obviously professionals like yourself do. What is the difference between a do it yourself versus having a professional do it? And then also what makes Ceramic Pro different than that of say the competition? So what I liked about Ceramic Pro and what got me into Ceramic Pro was uh, the network. I mean, the network for Ceramic Pro is incredible. I think we've got about $4,000 just in the US now um, and even more worldwide. So we're actually a worldwide company hmm. um, and we don't just focus on automotive. So we have an aviation division, we have a boat division, we even have people that go out and do people's homes hmm. um, and uh, a lot of industrial stuff. Um, so that's where I kind of, it, I'm not going to say that Ceramic Pro is the best coding in the world. I just think it's the best network. Hmm. Um, and that can speak volume with someone who's really just trying to grow their business um, because you've got so many people willing to help you from all different angles. When it comes to DIY coatings and professional coatings, there's one real major difference and it's the solids content. Not to get too you know, into chemicals and chemistry about mm -hmm. it, um, but it's the solids content and it's carried either in water or solvents. And so when that water or solvents evaporates, you're left with kind of a clear glass coating on, on the car. Um, and DIY coatings have less of the solids content um, so that they can be easier to install. 
Interesting. When you have more solids content and more solvents, they become harder to install. You need to be professionally trained, um, but you're going to get a better, more durable product. Um, so you can you most definitely go buy a coating online and install it yourself, um, but it's just not going to have the same durability yeah. because it doesn't have as much solids content. So most DIY coatings are going to be about, I think about three to five percent. Don't quote me on it, but about three to five percent for like a DIY, whereas like like a, a pro, professional grade coating is going to have closer to like seventy percent. Oh wow! So it's a massive difference. Yeah. Um, but you know, everyone and their mother could install a DIY coating. Sure. That's, that's the point of it. Yep. So. Pretty wild. Cool. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's good seeing you. Yeah. The next morning.